This is one of the leaders of Cairo's ultras. He hid his face and asked that we not divulge his name because like most hooligans, he has had a great deal of experience with Egypt's violent police force. The police brutality is everywhere. When you're in the hands of the police in Egypt, what does that mean? When you get arrested here, what does that entail? You'll disappear forever. You'll die. The worst options only. The worst options? Mm -hmm. Torture? Yes. Commonplace? Anything. Anything is possible. You see the police are firing tear gas canisters. Journalist Sharif Kudos grew up in Cairo. He has been covering the revolution since it began. This is typical of what's been happening in the revolution for the past two years. There's clashes in downtown Cairo, there's tear gas. It sounds like there's shotgun bullets as well. It's the kind of mayhem that in Egypt has become commonplace. Yeah, this is the uh, most dangerous part, so if you want to go a bit quicker, but the cops are right there. People get injured, and when they do, they're usually picked up on a motorbike and carried to a field hospital to get treated. This bridge behind us is called Asrinil Bridge. It leads directly into the heart of Tahrir. And this was the, the site of one of the fiercest and largest battles on January 28, 2011 against the police. The ultras and soccer fans were key to that battle because they were on the front lines. They were very organized. The streets all around Tahrir Square was uh, battlefields everywhere. The people watched us dealing with the police. So they were learning by example? Exactly. You were teaching by example? Uh, we broke this rule that uh, the police are the most strong thing in Egypt and you cannot mess with them. We broke this rule. 